All right, so now we have our model of the keychain finished. Let's see how can we prepare this model for the laser cutting. In order to prepare for a laser cutting, we need to save it as a DXF file. However, we cannot really save it in a controllable manner as a DXF file from the part, so we need to create a drawing. As the laser engraving program takes the DXF file and try to interpret everything that's on it, we need to get rid of all of the annotations that we will usually use for like the drawing that the human will look like. What means we need to have a clean sheet with no whatsoever any title blocks. And then also we don't want any annotations like the dimension line, center line, center marks, and so on. And if they are transferred in a drawing, we need to manually erase them. We need to change visible edge to a red color because the laser cutter recognizes red as a vector cut. We will need also to change invisible edges if we have some engravements which we want to see to some different color, let's say a blue or green or black. And we will also need to change the line font there to be the full instead of the dashed line. So we start model by making drawing from parts. So make drawing from part. And the key is not to choose any of the standard format, but to choose the custom sheet size. Click OK. Now, I want to have my engravement not in a red. I want it to be on a layer of the hidden line. So I will click instead of the front view, I will click on the black back view. And I will bring the back view from the view panels into the SolidWorks sheet. I'm going to I'm going to click OK. Now, when I click on this view, a drawing view property panel will open. I'm going to scroll down and to click on display style to show me the hidden lines. So hidden lines visible. And the scale need to be a one-to-one. -one. I will click OK. I'm going to remove any of the unwanted annotations, like for example, this center, this center mark, by clicking on a center mark and pressing delete. Now, I want to be sure that I have a right settings. I need a visible edges in a red and I need invisible edges in a full line in some other color. To do that, I will go to the tools, go all the way down to the options. So click on the tools menu, then go to the options. On a system options, I'm going to click on a color. And in a color scheme settings here, I'm going to find the drawings visible model edge. I will click on a drawings visible model edge, click OK, and they will be in a red. Now, I want to do to change the line style for the invisible edge from a dashed line to a full line. To do that, I will go back to the Tools menu. I will go to the Options. This time I will click on a Document Property tab at the top. So I click on Document Property. And inside Document Property, there is a Line Style and Line Font. So I click on a Line Font. I will find here Hidden Edge. Left click on Hidden Edge and the Style Dropbox show dashed. I'm going to click in the style drop box and I'm going to click on a solid. And I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, this has now converted to a blue and I already set before the color for the blue. If I want to change the color, where it will be, tools, options, colors, and for the drawings in visible edge. Drawings hidden model edge. I click on a drawings hidden model edge and then edit. And let's say I want green, maybe purple. Different colors means different intensities, relative intensities there. And here it is as a green. Now, what I want to do, I will go to a file, save as. Keychain Nichic, let's say, and instead of a drawing, I will click on the Save as Type on that Dropbox and I will choose DXF. 
and choose where I want to save it and click save. And that have created our DXF file, which we are now going to transfer in part three of this video to a Corel Draw, which runs our laser cutter, or in the case of some other system, into laser cutting software and cut. And this completes this demonstration.